So let's create an online fillable digital product workbook to sell using Canva. Hey guys, this is Dawn Marie and welcome to my channel where I am documenting my own journey of starting a digital product business from scratch. So you will be seeing a living case study of what it is like to start an online business and I'm not using marketplaces like Creative Market or Etsy. So if you want to keep up with my journey and follow along with me, then I would love if you subscribe to the channel. And by the way, if you are getting ready to create a workbook to sell using Canva, then you might be interested to see my 10 day action plan for launching your very own digital product business in no more than 10 days. So make sure to check the description box below where I'm giving that away to you and I hope that will be helpful. So let's get on to the video today. I am going to show you how I create workbooks in Canva step by step from start to finish. So if you come to Canva and you click on create a design, then let's type in worksheet. And you will see that Canva will give you options that you can choose from, which is really the perfect size for a worksheet, which is typically a document size. And the good thing about this is that you get pre-made worksheet designs or templates, making it easy for you to get started. So I'm going to select the first one because this one is a portrait size worksheet. And let's suppose that I want to create a planner with a checklist. So I'm going to keep this tutorial very brief and show you how to add your logo, a footer, so you can include any copyright information, a planner page and checklist page. So this will help you get started when you, then you can always add your own additional pages if you want to. Now, the first thing I want to do is add a planner page. So I can go to design and search for planner. And you can see that there are many options that Canva has given to you. I am on the free version of Canva. So of course, if you are on the pro version, you will see that there are several more options than the free version. So I am going to select this one as my planner. Now I want to add my logo to the top and also my footer at the bottom. But this planner page extends to the entire page, which is what I don't want. So to reduce the size of that, I'm going to select everything. Then I'm simply going to use these markers here to reduce the size. And you can also see that Canva gives you some guidelines so you can make sure that your the resized version of this planner fits into those guidelines if you wanted to. I'm just going to move this around so that it is in the middle. So now I have space for the top and also the bottom. So I can add my logo here and then also I can add some text at the bottom, which will be my footer. So let's add my logo. Now remember that the scale of this page is at 30%. So you want to envisage how big your logo should be based on the actual scale of the image. So at 100%, this is how the, the real and true size of the image. So I'm going to keep that at 100 and then I'm going to resize my logo accordingly, just at the right size that I would like it to be at, positioning it in the middle. Then I'm also going to do the same. I'm going to add a footer. So I click on text and I want a text box. Again, keeping in mind the scale of the document, I want this a little bit smaller, so I'm going to put it at nine pixels. Then I'm going to get my the footer content. 
Okay, that's perfect. So I'm going to scale this back down so I can see the entire page. Now, with this page, you can actually change the layout of it. So if you find that you don't want these boxes here, you can actually move it around. So don't feel like you have to stick to Canva's design if you don't want to. You can always customize this page the way you want it. You can also change the font here. So this one is the seasons. You can make this your brand font. In my case, I'm going to change this to railway and then also perhaps reduce the size of the font to let's say 20. Keep in mind that you can also change these fonts here. And you will notice that let's say if you were to change this subheading, I want to change it to railway. You can see that uh, Canva gives you the option to change all of it. So you don't have to change it individually. That's just a nice little time saving hack that Canva has included. Okay, so I'm just going to put that back the way it was. Okay, so that's my first page finished. I now want to create a second page, and this is going to be the checklist page. I click on Add Page, and just as I did for the first page, I go to Design. This time, I'm going to click to search for checklist. This is just a quick way of finding exactly what you need from Canva. And you just go through all the options that Canva gives to you and find one that you like and want to include in your workbook. Now you can edit the page just as you want it to customize it to your own liking. So I'm going to do some work here. So I might want to change the color scheme so I can click on it and I'm just going to go up to this square here which shows my color my the color options that I have and I'm going to change it to the same color as my first page again the option comes up here where you can change all to save time now as with the first page you can also change the text if you do not want this to be how to find the main idea you can customize it the way that you want it to so let's say I might add um, marketing goals checklist. I can change the font. I can also change the size of the font, right? So you can do anything really that you want on this page in terms of customization. Now, I also want to add my logo and the footer just as I did with the first page. And to do that, I can select my logo like this. Using the keypad on my keyboard, I can select Control C to copy it. I'm using Windows, by the way. And then if I select this page and I click Control V on my keyboard, you will see that the logo appears in the same position as the first page. So you don't have to worry about it lining up. The second thing, I will do the same for the footer, Control C, select the page, Control V. And there you have it. Now, if you realize that you're unable to find any templates to match your preference, you can actually design your own worksheet if you want to. And to do that, what I would do is I will click on Add Page. I'm going again to add my logo and footer. So let's say that I'm following this design of a Google Docs that I created in my previous video. I'll make sure to add a link to that video in the description box below. So I'm going to recreate this page in Canva. So what I would do is I would first add a text box here. I want to make this maybe font 12. I want to align the text to the right. And I want to extend this text so that it meets the other margin. So I'm going to copy my text here and paste it here. Perfect. 
Now, to make this table, I'm going to simply use the rectangle element. And I'm also going to extend it just as I want it. I want the color to be similar to the colors that I've used before in this document. And I'm going to break up this entire square into three sections. So I'm going to use the line element. I'm going to make it vertical. So let's divide it into three. Perfect. I'm going to extend this line. Then I'm going to make the lines white. There you go. So I have a table here where it's divided into three columns. I'm going to add text box here. This is going to be my text box for my heading. Make this 12. And paste my text. Perfect. Okay, so you can make your own worksheet if you want to. You don't have to follow Canva's uh, pre-designed templates. So this worksheet has come together pretty nicely. And I can now download this worksheet to use, but there is a problem. So let me show you what will happen. So I click on share then download, and I'm going to download it as a PDF standard. Now, as you can see, if you were to give this worksheet to, let's say you are selling it to your customers, certainly they would be able to print it out and write on the document. But what if someone actually wants to write on the document via a computer or desktop? They won't be able to do that. So right now, there is no option for me to write anything on this document. If I were to go in the check boxes as well, I can't check it. So what can you do if you want to make your worksheet fillable? So what I use is a tool called PDF Escape. So go to pdfescape.com and you have a free version. It is a paid for software, but you can also use it for free. And I'm simply going to click on free online, upload PDF to PDF Escape. I'm going to choose my file. And now I'm going to come into here and I'm going to add some sections which will enable my customers to fill this form or this worksheet out on their desktop. To do that, you have a column over here which are all the menu items that you would use to edit this document. You also have some items at the top here. But what you want to be mainly focused on is these items at the side at, at the left hand side and then the first one that looks like a document like a page so let's click on that and we only want to be concerned with the form field because the other images the other menu items for example text here will allow you to write text on this form we don't want that we want where we are able to enter a field that people when they purchase the worksheet they are able to fill it out themselves so i'm going to click on form field I'm going to type the type of field to be text, and I'm going to click on select. 
I am now able to include a form field here by clicking down and dragging across so it expands to the entire width of my line. The same thing here again, hold down and drag across. Right, so you can just simply go through your document, hold down, drag across, and complete the entire worksheet. Now, let's say we want to add checkboxes on this side. Right, so we have checkboxes here. Now, I'm going to go back to the top page menu item here. Again, select form field. This time, the type that I want is a checkbox. As you can see, there are different types that you can include in your form fields, but I'm going to use checkbox in this case, select. And then I can just highlight over my checkbox. So that's one added, another added, another added. And you can go down and do the entire checkbox yourself as well. For the third page, just as an example, I'm going to add one more section here so that people will be able to write. Um, the type that I want is text. Let's select it, pull down, and drag across. Right, so I can do the same for all of these, for these two additional columns if I wanted to. Okay, so now that we are finished, let's say everything is finished here, we want to download this, right? So you click on the icon, you can either save it where you can create an account if you want to and save it to come back later, or you can download. So I'm just going to download it now. Okay, so I'm going to show you my first vision, which is I didn't, I wasn't able to do anything on this document from my desktop. Here is the second vision after using PDF Escape. Now, anyone who needs to type anything in the document can do so. Even with the check boxes, if they want to, they can now check it off. So that ensures that you are able to give your customers a fillable worksheet. And especially if you may be a coach or teacher, for example, they would be able to complete that worksheet online. Hey guys, so that is how I create a workbook in Canva. I hope that it has been helpful and that you were able to create your own workbook and that you can one day get ready to sell it as your own digital product. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel just to keep up with my journey and follow along with me. Thank you so much for watching my video guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.